Have you ever thought about where your produce comes from? Most grocery chains receive produce from various local and national farmers. In fact, there are about 3.4 million farmers in the United States today. But of that staggering number, only 45,000 are black farmers. At The Better Buggy, we are a proud group of Atlanta-based black-owned farmers, selling produce locally and nationwide. Our easy-to-navigate online platform makes it easy for you to make a one-time purchase or to simplify your life by subscribing to our weekly produce box. Whichever frequency you choose, you can order with confidence knowing you'll receive 100% organic farm fresh produce. If you're looking for a thoughtful gift for a loved one that they'd actually find useful, be sure to pop by our online store where you can snag a gift card your recipient can use to order their own produce and t-shirts. Ready to start supporting local black owned farms and making healthier food decisions? Visit thebetterbuggy.com now to start shopping. Ladies and gentlemen, this story came out on Raw Story, April 20th, 2021. Now you see the title, White Supremacist Abandoned His Child for Over an Hour So He Could Brutally Assault Black Man Police. Now, I promise you, if it was a black parent that walked away from their kids to beat up some white person, they would have had their kids taken away. Okay. And this would have definitely made much bigger headlines had that been the case. So, you know, as usual, these things are unprovoked. And trust me, he wouldn't have been so empowered if he didn't have another person with him. Typical coward. Two Iowa men have been charged with a hate crime after they allegedly assaulted a black man while yelling racial slurs. We are Iowa reports. So this is Joseph Rossing, 35, and Robert Shelton, 49, have both been charged with assaulting, causing bodily injury and violations of an individual's rights. The criminal complaint says the victim suffered facial injuries, causing him to bleed on the road, his shirt and you know car. So there was blood everywhere. We are Iowa reports Rossing faces additional charges of child endangerment because he left his nine-year-old in the vehicle for over an hour while the incident occurred. According to the Des Moines Register, the victim told police he slowed his car to tell Rossing and Sheldon to get their children out of the street where they were riding scooters. So like I said, I knew it had to be over a bunch of nothing. If people can't pass down the street because your children are obstructing the traffic, yes, people have the right to say something. These folks will do things that act like you have zero right to say something to them. That's bullshit. No child should be out there obstructing the streets. Okay. So the victim said that Sheldon yelled at him and then both men approached his vehicle and pried his locked door open while Joseph and Robert were assaulting the victim. They were yelling racial slurs, according to the victim, the police report said. The Des Moines Register reports that Rossing is on patrol and is a member of Fry's white supremacist gang and Sheldon is currently on probation. What a dumb thing to do. And you're on probation. Mm -mm -mm. That's the example of a high IQ, y'all. That's what it is. But as you can see, in the white supremacist world, you can't tell them to not let their kids obstruct traffic when you're trying to get down a residential street. According to them, you shouldn't do that either. Y'all can go to hell. But y'all, I'm not surprised something like this has happened. But you know what? One thing about COVID, these stories are no longer being quite as hidden as before. Now on social media, 
this stuff spreads fast. It really does. So please tell me what you think of this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.